Y'all have heard me say so many times uh, how much I enjoy hearing from y'all and you sharing recipes that mean a lot to you from your childhood. And I got the sweetest letter from Sean Conant, C-O-N-A-N-T, Conant. Is that how you would pronounce sounds, it? Sounds right. But he says, thank you. Uh, this is to Miss Future, to Teresa. <laughs> He says, thank you for helping Paula Dean film her YouTube cooking show. Uh, my fiance, Logan, and I enjoy watching you, Paula and Eddie, every night. And we're from New Hampshire, just like Eddie. Uh, he said, I'm submitting a recipe for you to consider for Paula's show. It's a very honest recipe that my Grammy Peg used to make. It's very easy to make and absolutely delicious. And Grammy Peg passed away in 2016, but we think of her very often and we keep her memory alive with her recipes like this one. And that's what it's all about, y'all. Uh, keeping those memories alive. And uh, I've got a stray cat that's <laughs> wanting to get up here in the picture. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Uh, so, like I said, that's that's what it's all about. Uh, keeping those memories up front in our head. So, I'm going to share with y'all uh, this cake recipe. And it's Grammy, Grammy Peg's Cherry Pineapple Dump Cake. <laughs> and I know we've all uh, probably made a dump cake at one point in our lives. And they are good. And, you know, you can change them around. Well, this one calls for cherry pie filling and crushed pineapple. But uh, Sean tells me to make sure I drain the pineapple real good. And this is, you're gonna notice the only thing I'm gonna have to mess up y'all is that colander right there. <laughs> No dishes for usins. All right. Have you made something similar to this? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> if you want a quick and easy dessert, go to. These are always great, Eddie. <clears throat> now, I have, uh, I used a spray on my dish. So it won't stick. I love cherry pie filling. I love to make fried cherry pies. Oh, they are so delicious. All right, we're just gonna spread that out evenly. And we're gonna add our pineapple. We're gonna just give this pineapple a mash to make sure it's drained well because that's what Grammy Peg told us to do. I love a good, easy, quick recipe like this one because you never know. You never know, especially when you have kids, who they're going to be bringing home with them. Okay, so now we're just going to take our cake mix. <clears throat> and we are using just a yellow moist cake, cake mix. And we're going to sprinkle this over our fruit. Simple, simple, simple. We just want to make sure that we level it out after we get it in our pan. No eggs, no oil. No, no. eggs, no oil, no nothing, Eddie. Mm, can't wait to see. It's good. Or at least the ones I've had that are similar were really good. So. This is similar to how you would do your cobblers a little bit, right? Well, no, not no. kind of really. 
uh, you make for our cobblers, we make a batter. Batter and, you know, uh -huh. the dry ingredients. Uh-huh. And then uh, we melt a stick of butter in our dish. Okie doke. Now here comes the part that makes it very, very good. <laughs> the butter. <laughs> Calls for 12 tablespoons of melted butter. And Sean says if you'll stick your butter in the freezer, then it'll slice much, much easier. So we're just gonna distribute this evenly. My cutting board's dancing on me. Okay. Uh oh. That was, that was two layers. Is that two layers or one? I can't tell. So this is gonna have plenty of butter, cause that was just uh, that was just a half a stick right there. It's like it, a, a <coughs> piece of butter per slice. Yes, that's right, Eddie. <laughs> just the way we like it. <laughs> it does make it much easier. I probably didn't have this butter in the freezer, but <clears throat> maybe about 15 minutes. I got a frog in my throat this morning. I wish you'll hop on out. Ooh. I'm liking this a lot. I think the dump cakes I've made in the past, seems like I poured melted butter on it. I don't think I used it like this in pats. So I really, I really like using the pats because you, you know you're getting it just on every piece. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> So see, you even learn something new with, uh -huh. the, with the cake that's... That's right. Hot. That's right. That's kind of cool. It is way cool. Like I said, I just love to know what other folks are doing out there because we fall into these habits of doing things just one way. And, uh, you know, we say, well, that's the way you do it. But when you... Um, get with other people and talk with other people, you realize there there is other ways. So I enjoy that. So in the oven this goes, let's see what Sean said, 350 for 50 minutes or until golden brown. Doesn't that look good? A butter cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like me a butter cake. So, Sean, our dump cake is ready. Ooh wee. When you cook in a glass dish, they're so heavy, I always feel like I'm gonna drop it, like it's gonna slip out of my hand. Ooh, it's a bubbling and a sizzling. And it's so hot. <laughs> But do I want a bite? <laughs> I think we need to scoop some out to see what it looks yes. like. Yes. What about that over ice cream? Oh. Or ice cream over it. Yeah, I was going to say. Ice cream over that. Mm. 
I think the idea is to let this cool. <laughs> when have we ever done that? Yes. Ooh. Look, you can see every place that that butter melted, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was it enough for you? Yeah. I mean, it could have stood a little bit more in places, but <laughs> it's good. Cherries and pineapple. Mm. It's so hot. I almost can't taste it, but I think it's real good, Teresa. I was gonna you say got a tougher mouth than me? Probably, but I don't know that I want to burn it. Well, it smells fabulous. And it smells so good. Mm. Maybe if you took a little bit smaller. <laughs> Pete's Paula. I know it, Princess Bites, Paula, Princess Bites. I swear, I'm gonna do it right here. Okay. Cause you know on. I love the cherry. Okay. Like that's a princess bite. <laughs> and I love the cake part. With all that butter on it. Uh <laughs> where you go? Good. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. I'm a huge cherry fan. <laughs> I like cherries too. Yeah, but when this cools off just a little, mm -hmm. scoop of ice cream. Mm. Yes, to put a scoop of ice cream on this while it's hot. Mm -hmm. That ice cream would melt, and then you'd have like a milkshake dump cake. <laughs> that is good. Mm -hmm. I haven't found a dessert I don't like yet. <laughs> Sean, thank you so much for um, sending us Grammy Peg's recipe. And just keep her memories alive, honey. Pass them on to your children. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.